Developing news out of Rensselaer County tonight. Five family members now formally charged for hoarding more than 100 cats inside their Scattercoke home. Good evening. I'm Dory Marlin. And I'm Greg Floyd, each facing more than 100 counts of failing to provide enough care for the animals. You're looking at them right now. Regina and Earl Millard, along with Edward, Bertha, and Mary Ryan. Now, this is not the first time this family has been accused of cat hoarding. In April of 2012, Mary Ryan, her brother-in-law, Arthur Millard, and his son, Earl Millard, were charged with animal neglect. Two years earlier, in 2010, sisters Regina and Bertha were found in Vermont with more than 80 cats in their cars. Police also took more than 50 cats from their Troy home around that same time. Police tell CBS 6 they found dozens of dead cats outside of a home in Johnstown, along with more than 130 other cats in a trailer in Half Moon. Kimberly Howard has been working on this story for you. Kimberly, these people certainly have a history, and some fear there's really nothing preventing it from all happening again. Yeah, that's true, Greg. You know, the main study tells me that they've taken more than 400 cats from the same family over the past few years. Just a few of those cats you can see in here that were taken from that most recent incident. Now, just moments ago, animal rescuers actually told me that they stopped a few of these family members who were apparently driving a moving truck around their house trying to take some of the cats back. The family even apparently went back into the house and they were messing with the traps. Now, this was all, of course, before they were arrested, but it still draws that concern that this could it all happen again. Our numbers are up to uh, 119 as of today. The number of cats, though startling, nothing new for animal rescuer Tina Murray. She says she's handled cat hoarding several times and with the same family arrested this week, although she says this time it was the worst. And we are, have been completely overwhelmed. Live traps are now being monitored to capture the dozens of cats still inside the Scattercoke home. So we will trap until we feel that we've gotten every cat out of the house. The house is owned by Bertha Ryan. She and her sister Regina Millard, as well as Mary Ryan, Earl Millard and Edward Ryan were all charged with failure to provide proper food, water and sustenance. 106 counts each and possibly more counts as more cats are pulled from the house. Still, police say the charges are misdemeanors and people like Don Bentley Wilson, who was the first to adopt one of the cats rescued, is afraid it will all happen again. My heart just broke for all these animals. You have to be an animal lover to understand that, you know, this was just cruel. Just cruel to, to do this to them. Certain types of animal cruelty can be considered a felony crime under Buster's Law, which Assemblyman Jim Tedisco has fought for years to expand. But he says animal hoarding cases are a bit more complex. Tedisco is pushing for a statewide animal hoarder registry, similar to the sex offender registry, which he says would prevent repeat offenders from owning another pet. He says it's also important that people in these cases get psychiatric help. If we don't provide a psychological evaluation and get to the deep-rooted problems of these people of why they're hoarding, because to tell you the truth, if you ask them, they think they're helping the animals. They think they're caring for the animals. So I don't think locking them away and then letting them back out to do it over again is the answer. The good news here, about a dozen cats are now ready to go back to new homes. You saw one of the, the first cat actually to go home to his new home today. Uh, the Humane Society is hoping that they can bring a dozen more cats into new homes as early as next week. For now, we're live in Manans. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.